Hi, this is passenger test number two, so let's begin at question number one. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs, or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous materials must not be greater than 500 pounds. Number two. How many seats not securely fastened to the bus are usually allowed? And the answer is zero. <clears throat> it is best to wear your seatbelt at all times. It is best to wear your seatbelt at all times. It is best to wear your seatbelt at all times. Number four, which of the following cargo can never be carried on a bus with riders? Which of the following types of cargo can never be carried on a bus with riders? Tear gas. Tear gas is a no-go. Question number five. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do so. Question number six. Some city transit bus buses, pardon me, some city transit buses may have a brake door interlock system. This system works when the passenger exits the door or exit doors are open. So let's, uh, it works when the passenger exit doors are open. Okay. So some city bus buses, some city, some city transit buses may have a brake door interlock system. This system works when the passenger exit doors are open. Number seven, when it is carried on a bus, hazardous materials must be labeled. They must be labeled. Number eight, You have passed all of the requirements for a Class B bus driver's license. Which of these vehicles are you not licensed to drive? Class A. You're not allowed to drive a Class A vehicle. Question number nine. Federal regulations set an axle weight limit of 32,000 pounds on a tandem axle four feet apart. Federal regulations set an axle weight limit of 32,000 pounds on a tandem axle four feet apart. Question number 10. You must go a little higher. You must put a loaded bus into motion from a stopped position on a steep upgrade, 4% or more. Which of these is the best technique to follow when you have a bus with a manual transmission? The correct answer is slowly release the clutch while releasing the parking brake. Slowly release the clutch while releasing the parking brake. Okay, thank you. Let's pick this up on the next, the next test. Thank you for watching and have a great day.